One more question. In uh, one of your sessions, you talked to a man. Get, get in there just a little bit. Yes. In Philadelphia, who had cancer. And you told him that he needed to align with who he really is. And you also said that it would be difficult for him because he had really wanted. Can you give me more on who we really are and why is it well, difficult? Well, when, when we say that, here's what we mean. So you go through your day and you know what you don't want and you know what you do want and this is creating who you really are. Every time you process anything and come to a personal preference about it and you're doing it even on cellular levels, you're launching these rockets which are causing an evolution of your species, an evolution of your consciousness, an evolution of all that you have anything to do with. And that's who you really are. Now we're not pointing there anymore. We're saying that's who you really are on that high flying disc. And so in order to to allow once life has caused you to be that that larger part of you to be that then you have more of a responsibility is not the right word but it serves you better and better to keep up to speed with who you are because the more up to speed you remain with who you are then the less resistance is within you and the more joyous your experience is so as we're visiting sometimes people are they've fallen out of that airplane they have no parachute they're in that place where they don't know what to do and it's a simple thing if we can talk to them vibrationally we can help them get to where they want to be sometimes people are in the process of making their transition because that's where they want to be sometimes they're in the process of recovery because that's where they want to be it's an individual thing but each of you has to figure that out for yourself and the only way you can figure it out is by the emotions that you individually feel and that's why we were making the distinction between so many humans who are after the manifestation just sorting out piles of manifestation in a sort of evaluating process and we don't want you to pigeonhole and catalog reality we want you to create reality we don't want you to to measure it and compare it so much you've been doing that you've been doing enough of that to keep yourselves now busy with 20 or 30 lifetimes of manifestations that talk about your core grid in other words there's so much point of attraction ready for you you've just got to find some way to find resonance with it and it's not complicated and all of these words sort of make it not sound like it's not complicated these <laughs> words sort of make it sound like it's more complicated but if we could just say to you find a happy thought and fixate on it which would cause you to choose that disc and everything you want would then flow to you and you to it that's the end of the seminar you see <laughs> that's it be happy Thank you. and then you say well I want to be happy but I don't know how to be happy and we say well stop saying that and you say okay but help me be happy and then I'll stop saying it and we say well you, you have to find a way to be happy and they, well, I can't find a way then find a way to be less miserable <laughs> find a way to be less miserable sort of work your way up the emotional scale if you want to but there is an easier way than working your way up the up the emotional scale and that is go to bed and break the evil spell <laughs> and then when you wake up in the morning try just a little bit to choose a high good feeling disc and then watch what happens and before long you will trust the law of attraction but more important you will trust your ability to focus yourself into the vibrational frequency which will allow law of attraction to bring you what you want to bring you who you are to bring you the results of the lifetimes that you have lived and the amassing of becoming who you really are that you have accomplished we can't even begin to describe who you are you are genius creators who have come forth into this leading edge time space reality with the express purpose of mixing it up in perfect vibrational contrast and variety for the express purpose of launching rockets of desires for the expansion and the evolution of all that is understanding that you have guidance within you that makes it possible for you as you are moving through this variety to find resonance with the furthest most expanded beingness that you have allowed yourself to become you knew it was possible to live happily ever after you knew that it was most of you live happily and not so happily and happily and not so happily and happily and not so happily but that's the one step to step one step two step three process it's all good it's all good enough yeah thank yeah. you yeah